seriously, is, is this how it's going to be now? Well, hello there and welcome once again to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB into your TV. And this morning, we start with a toilet shock. Oh yeah, I get to work this morning and on my way to the loo, there's this. Now, I'm going to describe what, that, what that's a picture of because you won't see that very clearly on, on the TV. But it's, it's the women's toilet door there. And there's a sign there that says, do not use these toilets. Please call cleaners ASAP! And so, of course, you're thinking, oh my god, what's going on in the women's toilet? Uh, should I go and have a look? Is there a dead body in there? Does somebody need help? But you can't go in the women's toilet, can you? And then I look down, and how's this for grainy footage? Can you see that? That is what I believe to be, and I didn't get a UV light on it or anything, but I believe that to be spots of blood on the floor! What's going on in the women's toilet? When I find out, I'll let you know. All right, Indian power update. Now, we, for two days in a row this week, uh, they had massive power outages in India. Uh, yesterday's one affecting uh, nearly 700 million people, uh, apparently, which is amazing because I had no idea that that many people in India had access to electricity. I've seen Slumdog Millionaire. I mean, just the state of that guy's toilet, you know, that he fell out the bottom of and ended up in the shit. Uh, there was no electricity involved in any of that. There was a little bit of electricity involved in the, in the TV show uh, when, he, when he was doing, you know, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? But I've got a theory as to what uh, caused this. Apparently, uh, the, the official line is that there were too many bits of India using other bits of India's power. Uh, and that, well, well, it all melted down. But I reckon uh, the cause of this was just one too many calls uh, to a call centre. You know, somebody, somebody rang up, uh, and, they, and, and, you know, and they get the voicemail, and it says, uh, you know, for, for billing and account information, uh, push three, and they went. And then, there, there goes the power. It's off. It's off. And all of India shuts down. How is that for a special effect? I hope you didn't hear the, um, the click of the, the lens cap, because that's actually what that was. All right, let's move on to uh, some bad badminton. Uh, because uh, this is this is quite the scandal. Uh, we, we've we've got eight women badminton players uh, being disqualified from the badminton in, in the Olympics. Uh, the Chinese world champion pair of Yu Yang and Wang Zhao, along with South Korean pairs Zhu Kyung Yang, Kim Han Da, and Ha Jung Yun, and Kim Min Jung. I hope I'm pronouncing those correctly. <laughs> and Indonesia's uh, uh, Gracia Poli and. Melinana uh, Juhari. They were, although those last two, I think, may have been disqualified because their names were actually impossible to pronounce. Uh, but yeah, no, they they all deliberately lost because they wanted to face easier opponents in the in the next round. This is not on. Spectators booed as shuttlecocks were deliberately hit out of court. Now listen, I actually play badminton at quite a high level. Uh, I go to club night on Tuesday nights at the Arriva Badminton Club, and it doesn't get much higher than that. I suppose in Northland is a little bit further north. But anyway, um, obviously uh, not playing quite so much just at the moment, but I've played for many, 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 many years and I've never been booed for losing. And I've lost a lot. So this is, uh, they've taken this to a whole new level. The Indonesian Badminton Association says, uh, we come here not to lose medals, we want to have medals. Uh, they want to have them at all costs, apparently. Uh, speaking of medals, now the bronze for New Zealand today. And you know what that means, bronze is better. Bronze, bronze is better. Um, I, 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 know, I know I got into some trouble yesterday. If you watch yesterday's edition of Glen BTV, you'll know I got into a little bit of trouble uh, for giving the equestrian team a hard time because although they came third, uh, because it's a team of five, they, they actually sort of came 11th because there were, there were 10 people in front of them. Well, today, uh, the rowing uh, pair uh, of women, uh, they also came third, and that's much better because they actually came fifth because there are four people in front of them. Are you following the logic here? Uh, and so, so, but, 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 no, I'm not, I'm not taking the piss anymore. I love, I love getting the bronze medal. It's all good. Uh, Alan, have you got some footage of uh, me yesterday and the text and everything? I don't see you at the Olympics coming to any, coming anything, let alone third. It's a huge achievement, and to be there is amazing, let alone win a medal. And you are just mean, and your comment makes you unpatriotic and grumpy. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Well, we, we don't need the whole text. 
Uh, as you can tell, I got, I got into quite a lot of trouble there. But uh, I'll tell you why bronze is better. Uh, for a start, you get to go on the dais. So you're looking down on all the other people. Uh, so that, that, that's, that's pretty cool. And also, I've got reason to believe, because apparently, when you get a medal, uh, you have to eat the medal. Uh, I've got some... There's somebody eating their medal. Uh, there's another person eating their medal. Uh, I think it's the same person. Uh, I don't know if they're eating another medal, or it's, it's just turning out to be harder to eat than they thought it was going to be. Um, here's this bloke trying to eat a medal, but he's, he's got braces. Can you see that? He's got braces. Don't eat that medal, dude! You're gonna, that's going to cost you thousands at the, at the orthodontist. And, uh, oh, we've got... Uh, there's somebody eating the medal, and presumably after they finish the medal, they're going to go and eat the flowers. I don't know. But, I don't know about you, but looking at the bronze, the silver, the gold, uh, the bronze looks the most chocolatey. I reckon it tastes the best of, of, of all of them. So that's why I think bronze is better anyway. Uh, we've, got a, we've got an injury update, and if you are fans of the show, uh, you'll know that means... Uh, we've got plenty of injury update signs because this is a daily thing and for some reason he just keeps coming up with the injury update signs so oh this is I can't read that Ed due to the fact we blew the budget on yesterday's giant injury update sign Ed's bad comic timing oh and Ed's comic bad timing we don't have any more funds to produce injury update signs He's actually, he's actually, he's misspelt injury there. Couldn't even afford an N. He's written in there in, in blue biro. <laughs> uh, sorry. What you? And he's put a little sad face at the end. Um, if you hadn't wasted the ink on the sad face, you probably could have afforded the N in the, in the middle of injury. Anyway, an exciting injury update today. So I'm going to go back to the, the big flash one from yesterday, which he handed me at completely the wrong time. Uh, because today I managed to shave with the injured hand for the first time. Uh, didn't do a very good job, but still, uh, I think I'm well on the road to recovery. What I'm looking forward to now is being able to go to the toilet without having to take off my entire pants uh, every time. Uh, those button flies, still a bitch. <laughs>